From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Career Talk. Brought to you by Allegiant Staffing. Welcome to Career Talk. My name is Matt Lowney. We're the show that will head you in your information for your career direction. Our uh, Who's joining us today is Tom Landry. He is president with Allegiant Staffing and also uh, the sp sponsor of our program. So, Tom, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for having me, Matt. Looking forward to it. Well, I guess, first of all, I guess this foundationally, what, what does Allegiant Staffing do? We're predominantly a light industry staffing specialist. Uh, our company helps people in manufacturing, warehousing, distribution, find the right people, put them in the right positions, and maximize the efficiency of their workforce. Fantastic. And we're going to talk a little later in the program about kind of what's in it for the employee and then what's in it for kind of the, the client side. But you know, I'm always curious, you know, Career Talk is a show that's going to be here to help folks in the community get jobs, those who are unemployed, those who are underemployed. Kind of what's your connection to kind of helping get the word out about kind of career advice? It's uh, over the years I've been doing this, it's, there's a lot of misperceptions both on the employer's side and on the employee's sure. side of what temporary staffing really is and the opportunities that a lot of people miss yeah. by utilizing temporary staffing as a, as a springboard into permanent employment, mm -hmm. as a method to gain new skill sets they currently might not have. Sure. Um, so what I'm hoping to do with the series is to both help educate the employee looking for a job mm -hmm. uh, and how to maximize their effectiveness of getting the right job at the right place and also maybe help the companies out there that are looking for employees help them find the right ones and where to find them. And I think what would be helpful, I mean a lot of folks kind of know temporary and they've heard staffing and maybe they've heard contingency and all these kind of recruiting terms so it would probably be helpful to you know just lay out you know what do you mean by temporary staffing maybe you know you hear staffing agencies and then you hear contingency and then contract to hire so maybe it would be helpful to kind of define a little bit about the landscape of you know what all those terms mean. A great idea in 28 years I've seen everything yeah it's kind of nom du jour um, mm -hmm. so the industry has changed, so naturally the terminology is, has changed. Mm -hmm. um, temporary help is pretty much self-explanatory. Sure. Most staffing companies are providers of temporary assignments. Mm -hmm. uh, company needs somebody short term, they contact somebody like myself and say I need four people to operate in this warehouse as pickers for two months. Mm -hmm. Seasonal upticks, uh, new order, special projects, that's typically temporary staffing. Sure. Retained search is on the complete opposite. It's almost sure. like having a, uh, an attorney. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of hiring one by the hour, mm -hmm. you pay them an upfront fee and they get the exclusive rights to filling your positions whether you choose to hire those people or not. Right. They are the sole provider of the candidates and the talent. Uh, and from there it goes everything in the middle. Uh, yeah. You have employer, per, uh, professional employer organizations. Uh, that's a whole nother well, like disparity, right. and there's right. a lot. So yeah. I mean, there's a there's temporary help and permanent placement. A lot of people do mixed. Sure, and I think a lot of people think about temporary staffing as something that's seasonal, or we've got a big order, so we've got to get a you know several folks in the in the door to help with warehouse needs or whatever, which I think is certainly part of the landscape. But I think what's what's interesting, at least what what I'd be curious if you've seen is as the economy's kind of bounced back, employers are still a little res reticent to hire full-time employees. Is that where you're starting to see needs where they're like, eh, we're going to put our foot in the water here and maybe make some hires, but it'd probably be better to go through somebody like, like your company? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not any fun for people to hire people then turn around and have to lay them off. Right. I mean, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's very traumatic both to the employer and to the employee. And a lot of people don't take the employer's point of view on this. Mm -hmm. And in today's environment with government regulation, um, half of my time now is making sure that we're in compliance with new regulation. Yeah. That's a hindrance to people hiring permanent employees and making those decisions. Do I want to take on those additional responsibilities uh, to that accountability for maybe something that might not last for four or five or six months? Uh, the other factor to that is availability of workforce with skill sets. Um, People are looking for people with required skill sets, and the ones that have them, they're already working. Right. So temporaries is a way to go to either bring people in at a lesser scale and mm -hmm. teach them up to the skill sets that they sure. need, try people and get an opportunity to make good hiring decisions down the road. So you, you've been at this long enough, you've seen several recessions along the way. So I, I'm curious, kind of just from that, for that perspective, 
is this a pretty typical cycle? Are you seeing, is there any kind of, hey, it's a little different this time? I mean, the recession was a little deeper. Maybe employers are a little bit less likely to pull the trigger on, hey, we're going to hire 50 new employees full time. Are things different? Are there new industries that are maybe trying their foot in temporary staffing that maybe haven't before? This is my third <laughs> experience with yeah. downturns. And this one's a little slower to recover than the other two. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe a lot of d different factors to that. Mm -hmm. It was so good before yeah. that it was almost beyond what people would consider norm. I mean, if you look back uh, 2000, 2001, you were virtually zero unemployment. Right. I mean, if you yeah. didn't have a job, it's because you didn't want one. Mm -hmm. uh, and that continued, and then all of a sudden it hit, and a lot of people at that point, companies looked back and said, we got to go back to a baseline. Mm -hmm. So they're reluctant now to be really quick at ramping sure. back up again because they liked the profitability. That's they right. liked the reduced uh, exposure to risk. So they've been a little reluctant to hire. Full time. And, and I think there's a lot of industries, and I guess you probably have seen too, that are getting more to that. Here, what's our core team? And then we need freelancers, temporaries to kind of fill in the ebb and flow of business. So I think um, you're probably well positioned to kind of be prepared to kind of grow against that, that new norm, if you will. Yeah, the, the new norm is try before you buy. Mm -hmm. And that's the advantage that we have versus normal hiring practices. It's the advantage both the temporary employee and the potential employer is they yeah. can both try each other out. So there's changes sure. in, in the mindset of both parties. Mm -hmm. And the staffing industry has to react. And I think we have in general done a pretty good job of reacting to those mindset changes. Well, you had mentioned the advantages of job seekers, and we're going to take a, a quick break, and then after the break, we're going to talk a little bit more about job seekers, why they would want to use a staffing firm to kind of put their foot into the job market, and how they'd use that as a, as a tool. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. 